So, obviously you want to win every time, but a draw against the top seed or the top team in the country, especially given everything that you've had to deal with this year as a team, can you live with that result? Yes, I can, honestly. I think our team showed up today and we tried our best that we could have and we got it. I mean, we got a tie, it wasn't a win, what we wanted, but that shows that we can compete with any team. It really seemed like the team started to just settle into the match and gel as the minutes progressed. Did you get the sense at all, though, to start off that Stanford really wasn't taking you all that seriously? No, I thought they were taking it seriously. I mean, they're a great, they're an amazing team, and I think that they compete with every single play, team the same, and I don't think they look at anyone any different. Looking at how you all worked on pressuring the back line and the goalkeeper throughout practice all this week, she gets lazy, she makes that one mistake, you make her pay on that goal in the 77th minute. What did you see there, and was that just kind of like your work really coming together to perfection there? I think so. I mean, I just was able to read her pass where it was going and able to get it off her and looking up and being able to shoot that ball into the goal was amazing. What can you, you're an offensive player, but what can you say about the effort of Rachel Thompson back there in the defense? Three team saves, and it's patchwork right now just because of the injuries. They really seem to step up. You know, our team, no matter what, what number you are, you're always stepping up and working as hard as we can, and I think that's one good thing about us. And Rachel was doing an amazing thing, and she knew what it meant today to get a tie or a win, and she brought it today. What? Is there is there like a weight lifted off of your of your shoulders now because the draw here pretty much assures you of the NCAA tournament and with UW coming up, chance to host is right back to play in play again. Oh shoot, sorry, that question went right through my ear. That's okay. <laughs> um, is there a sense of relief now knowing that the NCAA tournament is secure and you've got a chance to host depending on what happens with UW? You know, no, I don't think so. I think we're still wanting to fight no matter what's going on. UW coming here, hopefully we're going to get that win, and I think. We know we can't give up at all. Pretty boisterous celebration after the end result, and you guys all deserved it. What were you all saying to each other, and what was Todd's message to you post-game? Um, that we were all proud of each other. You know, we all came together as a team and really competed today, and I think that was a big thing. Pretty sweet moment for those seven seniors now, too. I mean, the only thing that might have made that better is getting the win, but is that about as well as you can send them off during the senior day ceremony against a team like that? You know, I think they're happy with what happened today, and I think that's all that matters. Switching gears now to UW, because my deadline is on Tuesday, unbeaten streak of 14 matches now. The last time they beat Washington State was in 2004. As an in-state player, what is the significance of that winning streak to you? You know, the Apple Cup's always huge, and I think we're just going to have to take it as it's just another team and another good team that we're going to come in and just do our best. Not to make fun of Todd now, but he's got his own superstitions, and he's very routine-oriented now, too. But as a group of players, do you address the winning streak or the unbeaten streak at all ever throughout the season? No, we don't really talk about it. I don't think it's that big of a deal to us. I think we just come out and try as hard as we can every time. The Apple Cup, Washington State and Washington, each other's oldest rivals. On the soccer field, though, if you look at the unbeaten streak here, really not that much of a rivalry. Summarize it to me. Why do you think that is, and why do you think Pullman has been able to cons consistently outperform Seattle in women's soccer? Um, honestly, I think we just do the best we can, and we bring it every single time, and I think we just are able to score goals. You know, I talked to your dad for 20 minutes on the phone last year when we did that feature. He's a UW fan, or he was at least. He was convinced that you were going to UW. You come here, and in his words and your words, you fall in love with the place after about an hour. Yeah. What stood out here more so than UW, especially considering your major, your official visit, everything that you wanted out of a college experience? I just felt more like a family here, and I thought they brought me in, and they really wanted me, and I decided to go here instead. <laughs> Did you ever think seriously, though, about reconsidering and playing for the hometown team in Seattle? Never. I love it here, and I wouldn't want to change it for anything. And Washington State, the product of what Kidani at USC did while he was here, Matt Potter, and now Todd, too. This program has all these inroads set up recruiting-wise in the Seattle-Tacoma area, which is right in UW's heartland. Why do you think this program has been able to flourish in comparison to them? Is it that culture that we've established that you were talking about? I think, yeah, I think it is the culture, and I think that we are able to show players like a good time, and being able to bring them in and make them feel like they're already a part of the team was a huge thing for me. And if you talk to the average Joe, though, they would still probably assume that UW's got the better soccer program of the two. Does that tick you off ever at all? No, it's, it's okay. I mean, we'll, we're able to show it, and we're able to prove it, so... So are you a Seattle Rain fan, Portland Thorns fan? My question here now is, 
How much do you think the impact of professional soccer in the Seattle, Portland, Northwest area has ele- not only elevated the popularity of the sport here on campus too, but really enabled this program and that rivalry to flourish? Sorry, I'm really confused on that question. Well, I'll rephrase it again. So there's a really strong professional soccer scene, both on the men's and women's side here. How big of an impact do you think that has had on not only the popularity of this sport here and this team, but then also the club and prep soccer scene in Washington as a whole? Um, I think, honestly, being able to show people that uh, women's sports are really big in life and people love coming to watching us. We're able to show that we're not going to be little babies and not go into a tackle or anything like that. We're going to have a big girl tackle and we're going to be able to show that we can compete with anyone. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're from the 253 area code, correct? Yes. So last question for you now. You came all the way across the state to wa- uh, to Pullman to play mm-hmm. here. What what does it mean for you to represent your hometown even though you're in UW's backyard but you're playing for the Cougs against them? It's huge for me you know actually there's a lot of people down back where I'm from um, that are Cougs fans so it's really nice.